new attacks on U.S. forces in Syria, this time with rockets and drones. This means at least four attacks now in the past 36 hours. The first of the attacks was on a U.S. base by a suspected Iranian drone, killing one American contractor, wounding another, and injuring five U.S. service members as well. The U.S. has launched airstrikes in retaliation in response to those first attacks. We're just learning of these additional attacks tonight. Air Force F-15 fighter jets taking to the skies, destroying two Iranian-aligned facilities. U.S. intelligence saying the first deadly attack on U.S. forces was conducted by a one-way attack drone made in Iran, one of the two most recent ones also using drones. President Biden, who authorized the retaliatory airstrike, saying just a short time ago that the U.S. does not seek conflict with Iran, but is prepared to, quote, act forcefully to protect our people. Word at least one U.S. service member has been injured in these newest attacks tonight, but it is early. Our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, leading us off with late reporting now. Tonight, four separate attacks on U.S. forces in Syria in 36 hours, one of them deadly. In response, U.S. F-15s destroying two Iranian-aligned training and equipment facilities in Syria. To make no mistake, the United States does not, does not emphasize, seek conflict with Iran, but be prepared for us to act forcefully, protect our people. That's exactly what happened last night. It was 6.38 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday when an explosive-laden Iranian drone came hurtling down on the U.S. base in northeast Syria, leaving one American contractor dead, one wounded, and five U.S. service members injured as well. Four of the Americans medically evacuated. Central Command immediately planning counter-strikes. And just hours later, President Biden aboard Air Force One authorizing the retaliatory attacks, sending two F-15s into the air and hitting their targets. There are currently 900 American service members and hundreds more contractors in Syria as part of a counter-ISIS force. The attacks against those forces by these Iranian-backed proxies have been relentless. Nearly 80 rocket or drone attacks in the last two years this is the first time the U.S. has hit targets in Syria since August, and the first time an American has been killed in Syria in a drone attack. And tonight, there are serious questions about how the drone got through. We take force protection very, very seriously. Um, I will say, you know, as it pertains to radar, my understanding is uh, that there was a complete sight picture in terms of radar. All that said, uh, as is the case in any type of attack, uh, U.S. Central Command will conduct a review to assess uh, what happened. A lot of moving parts just as we came on the air tonight. I want to get right to Martha Raddatz. And Martha, these two new attacks we're just learning of tonight, obviously just before the news began, we learned this from the Pentagon as we were coming on. We did hear a unified message before these two new attacks from both the Pentagon and the president. You were monitoring this with us here, Martha. The president in Canada saying the U.S. does not see conflict with Iran, but clearly this would all be appear to be escalating. Uh, what are you hearing tonight about the defense systems on those U.S. bases, why they're not able to stop these drones and rockets, and how the U.S. might respond to these newest attacks? Well, David, a U.S. official confirmed to us that one of the air defenses was down at the time of the deadly attack, something they will be looking into. But do not expect the U.S. to back off. President Biden said just moments ago, we are not going to stop implying there could be further retaliation.